I don't know. Can you guys hear me? I don't know if you guys can hear me. I don't know if it's lagging bad or is it fine. It's telling me that it's messed up. My internet sucks so bad. I'm going to try to get this stream going for y'all. I got a lot of stuff that I just want to spew out before I start making videos on it. Let me know if, in the chat if you guys can hear me. Y'all can hear me? Okay. Um, let me pull up a couple tabs. Welcome, by the way. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. I appreciate everybody coming through. Um, let me actually pull up another tab. One second, one second. All right, let me minimize that. Um, I'm gonna open a couple of tabs real quick. I don't know why I put Best Buy instead of Best Buy. <clears throat> Yeah, I know it's probably lagging. I really don't want it to lag. My internet is messing up so bad, like it's it's tweaking right now. I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, but look, uh, welcome everybody that's here so far. Um, let me zoom in the chat real quick or pop it out or something so I can see it. So I can't see. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Welcome everybody to the stream. Um I know I've been gone for a minute. Um I haven't streamed in a while, but a lot of stuff's been going on. <laughs> I don't have my phone right now, so that's number one problem. Um shoes, a lot of stuff, man. Work, school, all types of stuff. Um Yeah, Zion, I'm gonna talk about everything. I'm gonna talk about everything. Um But yeah, I do plan on making more videos. I gotta get my software back. I got to talk to my internet provider, lots of stuff so we can get that situated, make sure my upload speed is right and ready to go. And then I can actually get on here and stream and stuff. But, um, yeah, so basically I'm going to just go through, I guess, number one, uh, first topic we talk about is the drop, the Best Buy drop. Um, secondly, I want to talk to you guys about AMD updates. Um, third, I want to talk about Amazon and, um, Newegg as well, Amazon and Newegg. And I think that'll be a pretty easy three topics to cover. And then we can end the stream off like that. It's a lot of stuff, though. It's not just going to be wrapped up quick. There's a lot of stuff in it. And I'm going to basically give you guys every tip that I know <laughs> and like it's try to explain it or try to demonstrate it as best I can um, throughout the video. But uh, let me get this moved over real quick. I might have to just look at it from here. Yeah, I can see it from here. All right. So, um, let me see if I can pull up anything. I'm going to open up another window and see if I can pull up any information. Um, but, yeah. So, basically, today there was... So, let me go back a little bit. Let me go ahead and open up the Discord. So, there was supposed to be a, a drop, a Best Buy drop. Um, it was supposed to happen. Everybody was thinking that it was going to happen last Friday. And the reason why everybody thought it was going to happen last Friday is because um of what happened two weeks ago so basically what would it be um february 22nd was it i think it was the 22nd right yeah 22nd so that was the last two fridays back basically um january 22nd there was that big drop i didn't cover it which i meant to i didn't cover it um i got 13070 out of there out of that drop not much um because i was i wasn't i think i was at work at the time so i didn't really get a chance to actually do anything but i only got 13070 out of that um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a whole nother video on that drop, but it's terrible. Um, it was so bad. It, everything went really quickly. It was staggered. It was really weird. Half the stuff was shipping. Half of it wasn't like I said before, I'll get into it in depth in another video, but, um, that drop was pretty bad and everybody was basically just like, okay, well, when's the next drop going to be? And we assume you were there on time, but it wouldn't queue in my car. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm going to talk about it. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I'm going to talk about the Best Buy drop that happened today. but um, And then get you guys' uh, opinions on what, or not opinions, but uh, you guys' anecdotes on what happened. But, yeah, the 20-second drop was pretty bad. Um, 
even to me by like I was comparing it to the Jan five drop, which the Jan five drop was the Tuesday before and MLK MLK day was on the 18th. So that's what that's what a lot of people were thinking was the reason why they delayed it till Friday. We don't know for sure, but a lot of people were saying, OK, holiday is on Monday. They're going to push it back and they pushed it to Friday. So naturally, you know, everybody going off of the whole two week thing, everybody was like, OK, well, the next drop's going to be on Jan 5th, January 5th. Right. So everybody was thinking, um, not January 5th, sorry, February 5th. Everybody thought the next drop would be on February 5th, naturally, which I don't blame them, right? Even I was telling people to check out for a job. I never say that there's going to be a drop on a day. I never say that. Um, I said it once, but I was really calling it because of the two-week thing. But now it's it's all messed up. I would never say, hey, the drop's going to be guaranteed on this day because you don't know. But I did tell people to check on Friday because there could be a drop. And the chat was ramping on that day. Everybody was, you know, waiting on a Best Buy drop and it didn't happen. So the Jan 5 drop did not happen. It was terrible, Tyler. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. Um, but yeah, the, the Jan 5 drop did not happen or the February 5 drop, sorry, um, did not happen. So we were all left like, OK, um, you know what now? And yesterday, which was Monday the 8th, we had uh, we had this crazy hypothesis, which was kind of it was wild it was wild we had this hypothesis where basically someone posted a leak um i don't think i could find the link but i might be able to pull it up on um on here let me see 30 60 feb 25 um here we go video cards videocards.com made this post um yesterday on the 8th saying that the 3060 non-ti which is supposed to come out later this month in february they said that it would release on the 25th and we had this crazy hypothesis in the chat we were like look today's the 8th we're 17 days past the last drop which was feb 22nd so that's 17 days up would be the 8th of january and we're 17 days away from this drop right here which was you know um february 25th so we were like it would be wild if they dropped today on monday which is it's just like right in the middle between their last drop and them having to build up more inventory for the, you know, the 3060 drop. Cause when they do that, when they release the 3060, they're going to release everything. They're going to drop 30, 80, 37. That's what they always do. Right. So that's what we're expecting. So us in the chat, we were like, yo, they might drop today. And they didn't obviously, <laughs> but it was, it was a cool hypothesis for the time. And then, you know, everybody in the chat still going off of the every Tuesday thing. They were back uh, today and the chat was crazy today around 11. It was wild. And I was actually at work. Um, I was at work doing some stuff and I was trying to like, you know, get my stuff prepared at work. <laughs> and I told them I put in the chat. I was like, yo, just at me when, you know, if the if the drop happens. And sure enough, I was just doing some research and it went off. I got that notification and I hopped on Best Buy real quick, real quick. It hey, was good. Rocket What's good, man. I hopped on. um I hopped on Best Buy real quick. Uh, let me mute on Discord real quick. I hopped on. Um, I hopped on Best Buy and I I just went crazy. I had all my tabs open like normal. And I'm gonna talk about some tips, just quick tips on what I did um, to help you guys out. But um, yeah, I went on there, had some tabs open, opened up everything, and uh, the first card that I got was I added the 3090 to the cart. And this is crazy. This is so the drop happened. It was officially at what? 1113 is what the time was. Let me let me try to get the actual time for y'all. It was like 1113, wasn't it? It seemed like it was later than that, but the bot got it at 1113. I'm gonna go with 1113. So 1113 was when the Nodi went out. And I'd probably say I was waiting until like 1120 ish, 1123 before I got the first 3090. So that's 10 minutes in and at that point, the 3080s were sold out. The 3080s for my area, because you got to remember it's all regional. For my area, southeast, it was sold out. It sold out at like in probably like four minutes, like three between three to five minutes. It was gone. Like I was already checking. I had got that late add to cart button, which I'll talk about. I got that late add to cart button. I clicked it. It wasn't there. And 3080s were done. Um, and I 10 minutes in, I got the 3090. So I clicked it, added to cart. I checked the rest of my tabs, had a 3072. So I added that to the cart too. I usually don't do multiple at the same time, but I was just, you know, I was just going with it. I was like, whatever. So I added it to the cart, uh, went through the checkout. I did the email, notif uh, email verification. So I sent the email and um, 
yeah, once I sent the email, it went through, got the verification code, put it in there and checked it out and we were good. So I got those two cards and I was good with that. Like that's, I was fine with that, honestly, because like I said, these cards aren't really for me, but well, the 3090 is, I want to try it. But after that, there were a bunch of restocks. So at, at one point, I'd probably say probably like 30 minutes in, 30 minutes in, 3090 started to go out in my area. Like they started to sell out. And I was like, man, like, I think it's done. I think it's wrapped up. That's 15 minutes, you could say, or 10 minutes for all the good stuff, right? Because at that point, 3070s and 3060s were gone too. And then 30 minutes in, they just started restocking stuff. This actually, I'd say past 30 minutes, it was about 12 o'clock. They started restocking. And I went back on my saved items list and everything was there. Everything was there. Everything was add to cart. So I tried it again. I loaded all my tabs back up. And weirdly enough, um, there was a 3070. So you know how when you're checking out a cart, right? You go on the page and it shows the yellow add to cart button. I can't really demonstrate it because I don't have, obviously this stuff's not going to be in stock, but it's going to show that like yellow add to cart button. I clicked it and it just went in my cart. Like it didn't, it was right here. It was like add to cart, like normal. I clicked it and usually it's like, please wait. It just went to my cart. I was like, okay. So <laughs> I got that car and I checked it out. It, it wasn't crazy. I had to do shipping though. So that does prove the whole thing that they're doing half shipping, half store pickup. I don't know. I don't know for sure if they're doing, if they're doing all store pickups and then they're switching to shipping mid drop or has that always been an option, but that's what it seemed like. It seemed like they were doing store pickups only. And then like, once you run out of those, then they're doing shipping. I don't know. Maybe that's the way they're handling the inventory. I'm not sure. But that could that could be the next that could be the way that they're doing it to try to elongate the um, the drops a little bit. And the shipping date I got was the exact same day as the one I got for my pickup, which is uh, the 17th. So eight days from now. And they usually are pretty good with beating the dates. Um, they'll usually either meet them or go before. So you don't have to worry about delays or anything like that. If you, once you get your date, you're pretty much set. But um, that's what happened to me. And I want to give you guys a little bit of the I guess how I set my stuff up to give you guys some tips for Best Buy. Um, like I said before, I'm going to make a whole video, but yeah. Hey, man, just subscribe. Great content. And what you mean? Load all your tabs. Uh, you saving every link individually to that graphics card. I got you. I got you. So I was just about to talk about that. So uh, good question, by the way. Good question. So what I meant by loading all my tabs up, basically what I did was um, let me let me sign in real quick. I think I can do that without without getting too deep into things. Let me try to sign in for you all. See if I can. I just want to keep my location not worse. That's really all I'm worried about. But I might end up pulling up something. I'll, I'll try to get it as good as I can. I want to be as I want to be like extensive as possible when I'm explaining this stuff, but I also don't want to like um, show anything. So here we go. I think this is fine. So um, mine is arriving in two two days. Jesus, you got that vision? Nice. The Gigabyte Vision is sick. It's a sick card. But this is basically what I did. I'm just telling you guys what I did earlier today. So I basically, I had this page open the whole time. So all I did was refresh it, right? I hit refresh. Boom. And it showed at the card across the board. Uh, I didn't have the vision on here, actually. Um, I had the these other ones, but I added the vision at the end just for just in case. But what I did, I literally just went here. I hit, I just put them in different tabs. Because I don't like, I, I don't know if this is, true I, I just, it's just me i don't like doing it you could take my word for it i don't like doing it some people other some other people might do it you can add to cart from this page but i don't like doing it i like opening the actual the actual store page but that's what i did i basically opened all of them up and um you know they all said add to cart i clicked add to cart and i just went i had them like in a certain spot where i could like see everything or well, not that i just had it like this and i just waited i hit I hit the button right here where it said add to cart. And then, it, you know, it says, please wait. And then I just waited. I just went through all of them. And then I went back to doing my work, went back through all of them. And then I clicked the 3090. It was add to cart. It showed add to cart. Now, I want to talk about one of the errors that you might get. A lot of people in the chat today were um were kind of confused. I heard Edge was faster than Chrome. I personally have my experience. That might be true. That's, that might be true. I never tried it. People, a lot of people say Edge is just general in general faster than Chrome because of its memory, something about the memory uh, efficiency or something like that. But um, yeah, I want to stock is going to get worse because of thirty to sixty. Oh sure, I'll talk about that too. Stock's going to get really bad. A lot, a lot of more stuff than just that. But um, 
So basically, one of the errors you might come across is this is basically a general indicator that it's out of stock in your area. You're waiting. You're waiting. You might see if you have any other information. You might be watching other people get the card you want. Um, the saved items page. So let me let me pull this up real quick. It's not. It doesn't update really quick. It has a slight delay. But the saved items page will actually tell you what what's in stock and what's not. It'll update. You don't even have to refresh it. You can refresh it if you want to get the latest information. But it'll tell you if something sold out. So you can be on here Strix. And click add to cart and hit please wait and it'll still be waiting you could go on your saved items refresh it and it'll say here sold out if it says sold out here it's it's sold out right now it, it'll still say please wait right here but it could still it'll still be sold out even if it says please wait right here so you need to pay attention to that because people will be waiting and then they'll get that at the cart button and then they get that error saying um you cannot make this purchase online or something like that you cannot make this online purchase if you click add to cart the second time and it doesn't go in your cart, that means it's out of stock. It's, it's pretty simply put. Um, and it'll be sold out here for sure. Yeah, I was checking out through the app. It says waiting for more. Yeah, see, yeah, you're right. On the app, it says waiting for more inventory. I've never used, I've only used the app for a Series X. I've never used it um, for the GPUs. So I don't really have much uh, experience with that. And it's going to be hard for me to be able to get experience because I can't be home. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that might be an error you guys might come across. Um, but basically what I did, I just added them all to my cart and checked it out pretty simply. It wasn't really it, Best Buy is a lot more straightforward than people think. A lot of people just struggle. Um, I tell people that basically the best way I can put it is it's all location and speed based. Your location decides how, how much cards or how many cards are in your area and your speed determines how many you get. That's pretty much it. Um, some people in some areas are going to get, are going to get access to more cards than you, or you might have less cards in your area, but you can get more cards than them because they're quicker or you're quicker. It, it depends. It depends. And, uh, the location is way more important than the speed. Cause there's not much really to the speed. You can only hit add to cart so quick. You know what I mean? Um, this, this website's not something you can like buy and repeat. I'm pretty sure they're working on it, but it, so far it's been pretty bot free and that's good. That's good for now. But the cards are only getting sold out quicker and quicker, man. I remember the, the Jan five drop was really big, but this one was kind of, kind of short. Um, I'd say probably not counting the 3090s. I'd say everything sold out in probably 10, 15 minutes and the restock only probably lasted like another couple of minutes. So it wasn't really that long. Um, you got our RTX 3070 FE and 3060 Ti FE. That's good, man. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. That's sick. A lot of people, I saw a lot of people in the chat got, some people got 3080s. One guy got a 3080 Strix, which I was super surprised about. A lot of people got 3070s, man. I'm proud of all you guys for real, man. A lot of people are trying to get these things. Um, but as far as for this drop, just a recap, the easiest and hardest stuff to get, the 3080 sold out so quick to me um from my from what i saw the 3080 sold out in like a couple of minutes like i couldn't even i couldn't even really get i couldn't even get a chance to get one like it was it sold out so quick and i saw so many people in the chat like checking out a minute or two after the drop started which was crazy um do i game or mine i personally game i want to talk about my ah, i don't want to go too crazy because i have my own opinions on mining i i'm not gonna lie and say i haven't tried it i tried it for three days and then i i stopped it just because i didn't want to like mess up my car my car was running at like 100 c 100 degrees celsius i just wasn't really feeling it and i, I like to play games on my car so i didn't want to like maybe ruin it in the future but i don't know man the the mining the mining craze has definitely spiked the interest specifically in 3060s uh 3060 ti's i should be more specific 3060 ti's are starting to get just as highly sought after as 3080s so if you guys are looking for 3060 ti's to play games on it's going to be really hard to find and i'd highly recommend you try you try your hardest right now to get one because in the future there's going to be they're going to be gobbled up until they you know uh throw more supply in and you're going to probably see a lot of those on the used market. If you see a lot of 3060 TIs on the used market, um, I'd say maybe a year from now, maybe less than that, like eight, nine months from now, they're probably, they were probably used in mining. Um, maybe people might not even sell them, but they were probably used in mining. You never know. Because uh, a lot of people are trying to get these because they're cheap. You can get two of them and get better hash rates than the 3080, which is the same price as two of those. Well, $100 less, but about the same price after tax um 
like a lot of people are going for those. So that's a toughie. I'd probably say if you're looking for a card and you're trying to still stay budget minded, the 3070 is definitely a lot easier to get. Just letting you guys know the 3070 is um, it's getting it's I won't say it's at 3090 levels of like stock or demand because the, the 3090 is the easiest card to get by far. Um, I wouldn't say it's that like that low, but it's getting up there. A lot of people are um trying to get 38s and 3060s. And, you know, of course, you got your AIBs, the Strix, the Ultras, the Gigabyte Eagles, the Visions, all of that. Those definitely have a pretty uh, high demand, just as high as the FEs. Uh, yep, up here in northern Wisconsin, the stock's probably going to be horrible. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's so hard for me to pinpoint because I'm only in one area. So I can't, like, you know, I have no, I can't get more data points. Like, I can only talk to people in the chat. Uh, I can ask them like, yo, how quick did this sell out in your area? How quick did this sell out in your area? Yada, yada. I can only get, I, that's the only information I can get really. I can't just move around and, you know, um, should I buy a 3080 for 1500? So stock is getting worse. No, no, definitely. I always listen. I will always tell people do not pay scalper prices. Do not pay inflated prices. Always try to get the card for what it costs. I mean, if you can't get it now, there will be a good chance you'll be able to get it in the future. 3080s, you won't have to worry about. Um, they should be adding more stock in. It's just, it's just, man, there's a lot of reasons for the low stock. The main point I wanted to get to, which uh, I think, uh, I can't remember who referenced about the, I think it was Zion, uh, referenced about how things were going to get worse because of because of something. Um the the reason why is the Chinese lunar year. I think that's the name of it. Let me actually be right. So I don't wanna Chinese New Year, Chinese Lunar Year. Chinese New Year, I'm sorry. Chinese New Year is uh coming up. And this festival isn't just one day. This thing lasts a lot of the workers stop working or the production is really low for weeks, maybe up, even up to a month. And uh oh, thirty sixty, yeah, thank you for that. Um yeah, but the Chinese, the Chinese uh, New Year is big, and I've had some experience with dealing with the delays of the Chinese New Year and some other, uh, other like more clothing oriented stuff because that stuff gets uh, the production gets lower and lower. But man, it's gonna be the same thing for GPUs, and I'm surprised there was even this much stock. They probably were getting everything they could out before the New Year because I'm pretty sure they're gonna start having to ramp back up before that 30 60 drops so you're saying you said 15 days yeah i i don't know man that's probably how long the actual the actual festivities last but i know the production slowdowns can last a while way longer than maybe that so that's definitely something to consider uh, i'm going to talk about other websites soon but just as far as for best buy uh, like i said me personally i'm still expecting the next drop to be when the 30 60 comes out i wouldn't expect one before that so if this leak is true, which we, you know, we don't have much uh, credibility to, it's still a rumor, but they're saying February 25th. What day is that? That is the, that is Thursday. Ugh, I don't know. Um, I'd say when, whatever day the 3060 is going to drop, they might do actually not. I think they've done one before in the past where they did it before the, the car dropped. I think they did that um, in the past. Am I going to do another 3080 giveaway? I don't have a 3080, so I don't know. I can't do one now, but maybe when I get the next one, I'll, I'll try to do something for you. all And keep in mind, guys, I got to I got to plug myself. Listen, I'm always putting stuff in buy, sell, trade in the discord. Hit the discord in the description below. Look at this stuff that I've put in here. Hold up one second. They've deleted some of my stuff because of because of because um, of some things, but they deleted one of my listings. It was like a discrepancy. Let me see if I can find. I don't think I can find. Um, I'll just search serious inquiries because I know I always put that in my listings. Um, okay, here we go. Look, I just put up. Um, what was this? Two three. So that was six days ago. I put up a fifty nine hundred X for six forty. Um, six forty shipped. I put up a thirty seventy for six thirty nine shipped. Um, I put up a, another 3070 in January 17th for 600 shipped and in December, back in December, I put up my, um, my 3900 X for 300, but I'm anytime I get stuff and I want to sell, I'm selling it for MSRP. I'm putting it in here. So if you want to get some stuff, I've been doing this instead of the sellaways because the sellaways have to make videos and do promotion and stuff like that, but it's a lot easier to just get it to you guys through here. 
So I definitely recommend you guys. I'm going to always say what I have or you'll see what I have either through a video or through me in the discord. You'll know what I the stuff that I have if I'm going to put it up. So be sure to, you know, check out the buy, sell, trade channel. I always put stuff up there and yeah, you can you can try to get stuff from there. And they sell out quick, so you gotta, you know, what I'm saying when you literally every sell that I every sell that I've made in buy sell trade sold under a minute, so you know what I'm saying you gotta be quick. But um, some dude just screenshot it. One the Best Buy agent who said wait 22 to 24. I don't trust those 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 support chats. You you never know with that stuff, man. It's just it's just there. Like you, I don't I don't even pay attention to that. I'm not gonna lie. Um. But yeah, if this drop does happen on the 25th or anything around there, I'd expect a drop around that time. So I'd basically say next week, don't expect anything from the 14th to the 20th. Don't expect anything. Excuse me. But starting on the 22nd on that Monday, start paying attention. If they drop that next, if they drop next week, that would be crazy. That would be unprecedented. That would be wild. I wouldn't expect it. Um, but I personally don't think they're going to do anything that, that soon. The 25th does sound pretty close i'm not gonna lie either the 25th maybe that friday maybe next tuesday it, it could be around there so i definitely pay attention to the week of the 21st to the 27th um and that's supposed to be the week that the card's coming out anyway do you recommend getting the 5900x over the 1900k it's hard to get the 5900x i'm not sure if amd cp still has stability issues good question good question um i'll say this so i am a 5900x owner um my last cpu was the 3900x um i like it personally but i've always had gripes of going back to the 10900k and that was just because in certain games the 10900k does better i haven't had any stability issues so if you're wondering about stability issues that is not an issue i've had the 5900x for probably like a couple of months i don't i can't remember probably like three months and it's been perfectly fine no stability issues per se i'm not doing any overclocking but as far as just overall system stability nothing um but i've always just wanted to go back to intel just because i don't know man i, I kind of feel where you're talking about on the stability it's like it's like the stigma it's like one of those just things that you know about intel it's like you know it's not gonna it's not gonna mess up at all i feel that i feel that um this would be what i would say to you if you want to get a cpu now because the the 11 900k is right around the corner supposedly it's supposed to come out in march so if you want a cpu right now i guess try to get a 5900x but i'll tell you right now even i'm thinking about switching to the 11 900k when it comes out that's what i'm thinking um but i'd have to do a lot of sales i have to sell my cpu and my motherboard get a new one switch my aio all that stuff but i'm thinking about doing it myself um, but you also have to take into consideration that the 11900K is going to be the last CPU of that socket or of that, uh, I guess, what would it be? Not generation, but, um, I guess, I guess it would be socket or chipset chipset. That's what I was looking for. I think it's going to be the last CPU of that chipset. So if you get that CPU and you invest a lot of money into a good motherboard to overclock it on with good VRMs and stuff, that's going to be done the next CPU. So I don't know how often you upgrade your CPU, but that's going to be you know, that's going to be done. The next CPU is going to have a completely new design or a com completely new uh, chipset. So you have to take that in consideration. Oh, but I think the 5900X is the last one of this one too, because they're switching to five nanometers. So um, it's, it's kind of a hard toss up. I'd say if you, like I said before, if you want one now, try to get a 5900X. But when that 11900K is out, I'd probably go for the 11900K. Because I hear you, Zion. You say AMD is future proof, but really, I mean... You, I guess you could say, yeah, for cores and threads, for sure, yeah. But as far as, like, the, the amenities that come with the, the the feature set as a whole, like the PCIe 4.0, that stuff's going to be on Rocket League, you know, um, or is it Alder Lake? I think it's, I think it's Alder Lake. It's going to be on the next Intel thing coming out this next month. So that's kind of taken away um, the whole AMD, uh, not Rage mode, but the, the little where they like synchronize the gpu memory with the cpu memory that's going to be on intel coming soon nvidia's already talked about that so you know a lot of the advantages that they market that amd markets are going to be gone once you know windows gets in touch with you know they integrate that into windows so that's going to be out the picture um for me you have a r7 3700x yeah amd is definitely sick amd is sick like I don't let me know uh Hussam. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. I'm sorry, but let me know what CPU you have now 
so I can kind of that will probably add more information to it so I could kind of gauge. I don't know where you're coming from. Me, I was coming from a 3900X and I just wanted to have the absolute best gaming uh, performance. And at the time, quote unquote, it was the 5900X. So I went with the 5900X. Um, when do you expect stock to stabilize? That's a hard question. Cause I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you. I said. I think I said this in my last stream, but I'll just say this. There was a guy who told me. He said back in September when the 3080s were like really hard to get, like that third, fourth week of September. He told me. He said. He told the chat. He said, "I don't think stock is gonna stabilize until September 2021." That's what he said. I think he might. I think he either said in September or like the month late, like in October. But when I got in the chat, but. He said that. He said, I don't think it's going to stabilize till September 2021. And every single month, every announcement I hear from Lisa Su, every announcement I hear from uh, Jensen Huang, every announcement that I hear about, oh, stock is going to be first. They said stock was going to be good or they're going to um, it was going to be delayed until 2021. That's what they told us in December. They said 2021 is when it's going to be fixed. Right. Then I think earlier in February, back in uh, January, Lisa Sue announced, oh, yeah, it's not going to be good until what was it? Q2, Q3, uh, 2021. What did she say? Um, Supply. Yeah. AMD CPU expects GPU supply to remain tight until mid 2021. I think she said Q2 or Q3. So that's another delay. Like it's getting delayed, delayed, delayed every single announcement. Like. I think it might be September, not going to lie. I, I think it might be September. And I don't know because you got to realize NVIDIA still has the 3080 Ti on the back burner because they didn't drop it because of apparently they didn't drop it because they feared it would be like wrong to do it at this time just because of how hard it is to get a 3080. So they didn't want to do it. But that's definitely still on the back burner. There's so many leaks and rumors of I don't I'm not a leak and rumor guy. I hate I kind of don't like leaks and rumors, but. When there's so much information about something, you got laptop makers putting it in their product specs and stuff like that. It's you know it's it's time <laughs> like the time has come, so they have that on the back the back burner for sure. Um, AMD, I don't know what AMD is gonna do, but I'm not like an AMD GPU fan, so I don't really follow them. But Nvidia has more SKUs on the back burner. They probably have a 3050 coming or something. They have GPUs ready lined up, but they can't even work on those because they have to deal with this. So. You never know. And, you know, by the time next year comes around, you're looking at maybe, I don't know, the super line. What are they going to do? Are they supposed to come out with another generation next year? Like, how? It's we're already more than a quarter in. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Almost a halfway in uh, to the launch cycle. It's like, come on, half a year in, sorry, to the launch cycle. You never know. I have a laptop actually has a i7 6820K OC to 4.1 gigahertz. It's equivalent to 6.1 gigahertz still performs really good huh if okay it still performs really good 6700k if you have a laptop that means i'm pretty sure you're building a desktop so you're gonna be starting first so you don't have to worry about staying on a platform um this is the thing man like this is this was this is me i'll just tell my story and maybe you can pull something from it. it's real short i'm not going to stress it too long so when i was building my computer i went amd because i was I was trying to ramp up my streaming and I wanted something that would be good for streaming. And I was coming from a, um, I was coming from a 9,700 K and a 2070 non super and the 2070 non super. This was at a time Turing. I think that's Turing. Turing wasn't really that good at, um, it was, it was supposedly good at streaming cause it had the NVENC encoder, but I never found it to be good. I actually made multiple videos on OBS, um, settings where the, if you had a good AMD GPU, that it would be better to use the C or AMD CPU. Sorry. It'd be better to use the CPU than the GPU because it's better. Um, I even said that, but when I got my 3080 and I realized how good the streaming is on the 38, like right now I'm streaming on a 3080, I know this isn't the best <laughs> example because my internet sucks but trust me it, it, when my internet is good the streaming on this invent encoder on 3080 is sick so that left like the cpu kind of out of the out of the blue you know what i mean because i got it for streaming so then i have to focus okay is it good at gaming and the as far as the 5900x versus the 10900k the 5900x wins in most benchmarks it still trades blows some games like modern warfare for example intel's better um, I think Red Dead 2 Intel is better, but those are only like a handful of games. You have to really kind of determine what you play. But 
all of the high all of the high FPS games like CS:GO stuff like that. Intel's or AMD's winning right now. So honestly, AMD's looking like the better bet. But like I said before, that 1100K is right around the corner. So you could go either way. You could wait till the 1100K or you can see if you can get a 5900X. Honestly, my final answer I'd probably give to you is if you can get a 5900 the 1100K comes out, get it and you'll still be satisfied. If you want to wait or you just can't get one until it comes out and the 1100K comes out, it's in good stock, it's ready to go, try to get one of those. Um, and like Rocket just mentioned, I'm, I should have mentioned that as well. Thank you, Rocket, for that. Productivity is a thing. I don't know if you strictly are a gamer or do you do more uh, 3D rendering, more tasks that could maybe maybe Blender, I don't know, stuff that could use the CPU. Um, if you do do that type of stuff, AMD is for sure better. But if you're a pure gamer... It's kind of a toss up. Not going to lie. It's kind of a toss up. Um, thank you for that, Rocket. I appreciate you. I appreciate that t- uh, that information. Um, but yeah, when do you think I can get a 3080 FE on Best Buy? Uh, I guess, I, like I just said, um, on the week of the 21st to the 27th, I guess the same week. Yeah. Sometime in this week, they should restock. Do you think I could find some in stock with Discord and stuff? Uh, I'm going to talk about some more sites. That's a good segue. Thank you for that. Um, there's other sites that are selling 3080s as well, and we'll get into that. So let me talk about let me talk about Amazon because Amazon has been pissing me off. <laughs> Look, so if you go in the chat or if you've been in the chat, you would know that over the past couple of, I'd say the past week, over the past week, um... Amazon has been dropping a lot of stuff. This is all from the last week. All this. Most of it's 3070s. I'm not going to cap. But a lot of stuff in here. Some 3080s are kind of mixed in. But I think these are all 3070s actually. 3070s, 3090s. Yeah. Some Xboxes, stuff like that. But Amazon went on a crazy run last week. They dropped so much stuff. Um, CPUs. I got. I ended up accidentally ordering three fifty nine. Like waiting on it because it was a back order. I ordered a fifty nine hundred X. I got a fifty nine hundred X. Amazon is so fucking bad. The bots are annoying. That's facts. That's facts. Amazon is terrible. I'm not going sugarcoat it. Amazon is ridiculous. I think the only website worse than Amazon, the only two websites worse than Amazon, are probably Newegg and uh, ASUS Store. Like it's it's ridiculous. They do drop. Yeah, that's what you you just described it. They drop a lot, but it's usually see what it is. Zion, what it is. It's usually a lot of thirty uh, third party people, and sometimes they only have one item. Like for example, it's usually like some guy that just made a seller account, and they're trying to make some quick money. They put their thirty eighty up for I don't know twelve hundred or something, and it sells out like that. They they usually they usually only have that one card, so it's gonna sell out quick. A bot's gonna kill that. Um, some people might have more inventory. Some bigger stores might have like ten cards, or they might have twenty cards, but they're still gonna go like that i mean it's it don't really matter unless you got hundreds or thousands of cards you're not gonna get a chance and that's usually where amazon comes in so when amazon themselves drops some stuff you kind of have a chance but still the bots are eating it eating it eating it it's so hard to get stuff on amazon it's ridiculous luckily like i just mentioned i was able to get those 5950 x's but i canceled them and i was able to get um i was able to get one 5900 x that i'm gonna put in the chat so by the way, uh, Hussam, I'm sorry, uh, I'm butchering your name, but um, if you do want to try to get a 59, 5900X, when that comes in, which I will let you guys know the Discord, I'm going to put it in buy, sell, trade. I'm just going to randomly plop it in there, and you might be able to get it. So you can add me on Discord, and we'll work that out when the time comes. Thank you for the advice. By the way, I was able to pick up the graphics cards after I followed you. That's dope. That's crazy. Thank you. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. I, uh, congratulations to you. Um. Yeah, I don't even open open notice for Amazon facts. <laughs> I don't either. I, I used to, but when I realized how hard it was, because you know they were doing their runs, I was like, let me try. But nah, that's it's some, it's some BS. But um, yeah, that's really all I wanted to mention was that they were doing their run of um of drops. It was really big, uh, and they had a lot of stuff in there, and they're still doing it every. I think they they did some today, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they did some today. So you can still kind of try. They just put up this 3080. Uh, let me mention. Let me see if this is. Yeah, this is my account. They put up this FE. Um, yeah, let me actually copy the link real quick. That'll be better than. Uh, 
Yeah, they put this up. But it was, like I said, it was one person. Like, it, it's so hard to tell, man. It's so hard to tell. You guys are, what you guys are comparing? The 10900K or the 9900K? Oh, yeah, the 10900K for sure. Don't, don't buy, I wouldn't buy a 9900K. Even if, if you look at the benchmarks, it's not worth it. Like, you might as well get a 10700K. Or a, I wouldn't, but then again, King Brothers, I wouldn't get a 10900K either. I would get a 10850K. I don't know if you've looked at it, but you can get a 10850K for like 410. I'll show you. I think it was on, um, where was it at? Newegg? 410 for a 10850K. And if you know anything about a 10850K, you know that it's basically a 10900K. Like, it's it's basically a 10900K. Like, I can't even simplify it any more than that. So, I'd get this. This is the CPU I'd do. If you, if you want to go Intel right now. 10, 10850k easy either that or a 10600k one of the two actually i don't actually i don't think the 10600k is even um is even hot like that anymore because the 10400f is so popular so high end 10850k is 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 legit i'd get cause how much is a 10700k let me let me check what is it three four pff, nah at 344 yeah get a 10 get a 10850k and wrap it up bro you said you can get a 10 700k for 279. Okay, that's that brings more into the into the conversation. If you can get a 10 700k for 279, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It depends on what kind of build you're doing. Like if you you seem like you're going at 10 at 279, you're kind of going like mid-range. Yeah. That'll work. You could still pair a 3080 with a 10 700k. That might work. On Micro Center? Yeah, okay. Okay. You I yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, it's either that or a 5600X, which is like $80 more. And I think they probably trade blows. I, I don't remember the benchmarks for that. I can't tell you comparisons, but may, yeah, that's not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal. I was going to say at 350, no, but at 279, yeah, that's not, that's not bad. Uh, when's the next Best Buy job? I just told you, Noise. I just told you. I don't know. I can't tell you for sure, but I can tell you that my best prediction is going to be between the 21st and the 27th. That's that's all I can give you, man. I'll have more information as the time comes, but that's the best. It could be the tw I just talked about this. It, it, all the twenty fifth stuff. It could be there. Um, ten hundred K at Best Buy is for four forty five. Yeah, even at four forty five though, the the ten eight fifty K is is you said it's four ten. Yeah, it's four ten. Like, man, the ten hundred K is irrelevant right now. Like it's it's irrelevant. It's not even. I'm surprised because there was a big shortage of 10900 ks I'm surprised people didn't catch on to the 850k. They're the same thing. They're literally the same thing. My bad, bro. I might have tabbed. No, you straight. You straight. Noise. You straight. Um. Yeah. But let me talk about. I'm gonna answer your questions, Zion, soon. But I'm gonna talk about the last website, which was uh, AMD Direct Buy. So, I think uh, New Egg too. But we'll get into New Egg later. So for all you AMD boys, I know it might not be that many AMD boys in the chat or in the comments after this video is posted, but all the AMD boys out there, listen, good information right here. Good information. So for the last couple of Thursdays, so they did one last Thursday, which was the fifth. They did one on the 29th. The last couple of Thursdays, AMD has been dropping everything that they sell on their website on AMD direct buy. They've been dropping their GPUs and their CPUs. Um, and I'll give you guys a recap of the last couple of drops, kind of just information. Yeah, Newegg has the shuffle. I got you. I got you. I'm going to talk about that. Um, but AMD has been dropping a lot of their stuff on this website. And I'll tell you guys what sells out quick and your odds and stuff like that real quick. So um, last couple of drops, just general information. I was able to get a good amount of 5900Xs. Actually, both of, both of the ones that I put in the chat i did it earlier both of the ones that i sold were from here um i sold a 5600x and a 5900x they were both from here so you can get a cpu from here it is definitely possible the checkout is not as bad as it used to be it's pretty straightforward now it used to be really buggy but they've they've kind of ramped up their site um you can get through the checkout and be straight there are possibilities of cancellations i have had a 5900x canceled so you know pay attention to that it's not always guaranteed um, but yeah, you can get stuff from here. GPUs. I've never had success with a GPU, but I've seen like one person. I think they got a GPU, but the GPU sell out way quicker than the CPUs. I think that's, I, I'm not, I don't think that's demand. I think that's purely supply. Um, just because it, it, there's a lot of facts I could throw out there, but 
it's supply. It's supply. They don't have that many GPUs when they're when they're loading the site. I know that for sure. Um, and they do put up their 3900Xs and 3950Xs. A lot of people accidentally buy them, so don't be one of those people. <laughs> um, do not buy a 3950X for 750. That's so stupid. Um, and don't get a 3900X at 464 because you can get one for 300 on eBay or something, even less than that. So don't do that either. But um, yeah, try to get your 5800Xs 50, 5, and 5600Xs. These two, they always sit. They always sit. So when they do their next direct buy drop, and if you want one of these, you can get one so easy. You can get one so easy. I thought the 10700K is better than 5600. I don't know. I actually don't know. I'd have to do some. Um, let's look it up together. Why not? You said it was a 5600X. I'm actually not sure. I only pay attention to the high end, and that's one of my downfalls i need to stop doing that um let me just go to uh let me try gn let me see i need to actually look up his 5600x review so i can get more data let's see i think it is i don't i don't think you're wrong i think it is let me mute this real quick um Okay, so Red Dead, it's losing in Red Dead by a little bit. None too crazy. Uh, that's also 1080p, so it's going to stress the CPU the most. Um, and keep in mind, like at the high end, the CPU, it's more GPU based. The CPU stuff is going to be bottlenecked at the high end. That's why they have to make it 1080p. Um, uh, it's down in Red Dead. That's to be expected. Three Kingdoms, it's up by a considerable margin um division two that's a good test it's up there because the the 5600 x usually has on par gaming performance with like the top ones like the 5900 x and stuff so anything that the 5900 x usually is winning in it's gonna the 5600 x is gonna win in too so the intel is usually more linear but the amd is usually like straight like it they're all in the same pack so yeah i mean that's a good that's a good that's a good point so at 350, you also have to throw in the question, okay, or is it, it's 300 actually. I'm sorry. It's 300. I, I said the wrong price. So, yeah. So, shoot. 300 versus 279 for a 5600X? Yeah. Yeah. Try to get a 5600X for sure. Actually, now that you bring that, that's, that, I'm glad you brought this up, man. This is good information. Yeah. 5600X is definitely better. Definitely better. Um. So, yeah. I'd go for that. And like I just mentioned, yeah, they sit. You can you can actually go on Amazon right now and get a 5600X for like 370 if you want to. It's up to you. But they are they they're always on on here. Um They're always on here. Let me see if I can find one. 389. So, I don't know, maybe that's too high for you. It's usually about 320 to 330 after tax. So, yeah. So maybe you're probably losing out on sixty dollars, but you can get it right now. It's that's kind of rough territory though, because you're getting close to the ten nine hundred k. I don't know if I'd do that, but um, but then again, in some games, it's beating the ten. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. What's my words per minute? <laughs> um, I think the last time I did it is usually between like seventy and ninety, something like that, like eighty average. Uh, so do fifty six hundred x over the yeah yeah. I do 5600x at at retail. It's in stock for three. Yeah, definitely. Good shit. Good shit. Definitely. Definitely. If it's in stock right now, grab it. Grab it. Grab it. It's better than the 1070k from what I'm seeing, and it's not that much more expensive. So yeah, yeah. I like that. Do that. Do that. Um, what were you we talking about? AMD Direct Buy. Yeah. So if you're looking for, uh, he's got one from Micro Center, so that's that's legit. Check your Micro Centers too, because Micro Centers could have those sitting in your local area if you're close to one. You're also editing. Damn. <laughs> uh, if you're a video editor, a lot of the editing uses the GPU. So I don't know what kind of editing you're doing, but it's usually using like the the GPU, like the CUDA cores, if I'm not mistaken. Like it does CUDA acceleration. So you may be good. You may be good on that. I think the set. What? How many cores does this ten seven hundred K have? Because I think that what is it? This one is six cores. This one is what is it? Eight core, sixteen thread versus six core. What twelve thread? Yeah, and eh, that's not a big difference, honestly. That's not a big difference. 
It depends. Are you, do you edit more? Or do you gain more? I'm pretty sure you, you might gain more than you edit. But even then, it's so negligible. I just go with the fifty six hundred X and keep it moving. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but that that was a good that was a good little good little um talk about that man. I, I needed that information. I need to know that for myself. It's always good to know this type of stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys are looking for a fifty six hundred X or fifty eight hundred X, they do sit when these direct buy drops happen so you could try to grab one of those 5900 x's and 5950 x's are usually the first to go so if you're looking for those i'd say be really quick be on the ball um and then these gpus you can try but man these things are hard to get i wanted to get i literally only wanted to get like a 6900 xt or a 6800 xt just to try like that's literally all i wanted to do was just look at it like to try it and put it in my system because i've i haven't had an amd gpu since my 5770 and that was like in 2015 so i just wanted to like see what they're on like see you know what progress they've made um but yeah that that's definitely an option um and well 3700x bottleneck 3080 not really not really um maybe like a couple of percent but not none too crazy not really <laughs> short answer no um let's get into the last site which is new egg uh, let me check the Okay, we're good on that. So Newegg does their shuffles. I don't think they did one today. Let me see. I don't they would have put it in this chat if they did. I don't think they did one today. Oh, they did do one today. Let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. Let's see what's in the shuffle. It's probably some some complete garbage. Let's see what's in the shuffle. What we got in the, oh, they want me to sign in. Alright, let me sign in real quick. Let me use my main tab actually, so I don't have to do that. I don't know if I can get to it from here. But here we go. Alright. It's always some some complete trash in this thing. Look, they got a 5800X, 5900X. They have a PNY 3070. It's probably overpriced out the ass. What, 679? It's like, they have a 3070 Gaming X Trio, which I think is like $800 for it. Nope. They have a 5950X. They have a Supreme 3070. That's sick. They have a 6800 XT gaming trio for 1039. I look, listen, do not, please do not buy this. I don't even care if you win this shit. Please do not buy this. This is ridiculous. I, I want to make a video on this, but AMD's pricing is terrible. What's the, what's the 6800 XT is going to be like, what, 11, would be like 1199? Let's see. 1229 because it has a keyboard. Oh my God. Please do not. Please do not do this. Do do not feed in the MSI's bullshit. The Supreme's cool. I'm not gonna lie. The Supreme is fire. I don't care. I'd overpay for a Supreme. But this, no. What's the shuffle? Good question. So <laughs> the new X shuffle is basically something that they've been doing for like the past couple of weeks. They take all of the quote unquote high in demand stuff and they make a shuffle out of it. So you get to choose as many of these things you want to try to get. So for example, I'd go for these three things. And I have to wait until, or actually, I think the time's up to select it. Yeah, I missed out on the time because it ended at four. But you would go on here. They do. They pretty much do it almost every weekday. You would go on here, uh, select your items, hit enter the shuffle, and you just wait until the selection period, which is for today would be at two p.m., which would be at five. So I, I missed the whole thing. So around five uh, p.m. Eastern, you would check and see if you if you won, and you can win more than one item. You don't. You can win at you could not win anything at all. You can win on one item. You can win everything you select it. It depends, but you can win more than one item. And if you win, you just wait until three thirty, which would be six thirty my time. It puts it in your cart and you check out. And it's pretty straightforward. Um, the only problem with this has been that they just put absolute garbage in the shuffle or just overpriced BS in the shuffle. So it's very hard to even justify trying it. But uh, they've been putting CPUs in here for like the past couple of days pretty consistently. So, yeah. How do I go to the shuffle? It's this link. I'll put it in the chat for y'all. Um, it's also in the Discord. They post it when it happens, like a couple of minutes before it's about to pop off. But um, it's not every day at the same time, but you can check it every day. I'd say around, start checking it around 11 or 12 noon Eastern. So Pacific would be like 9 or 8 a.m. Start checking it and, you know, 
to see if it's open. But yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I've only won a PNY. I think it was like a PNY sixty nine hundred or so. It was like two thousand. I I didn't buy it obviously, <laughs> but I just wanted to enter it and I clicked like everything. How's the ten seven hundred K and thirty eighty? It's great. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. There, it, look. If you have a thirty eighty, unless you have like a like a I don't know like a i three sixty one hundred or some shit like unless you have something that's ridiculously old or like not like unpowerful or weak I it's not unpowerful unless you have something that's like ridiculously weak it's not gonna bottleneck it like anything from the past two or three generations is fine I'd say preferably two generations is cool like if you had a nine ninety seven hundred k I wouldn't be mad like. Don't be worried about the CPU, man. Don't be worried about it bottlenecking anything. Just be worried about which one you want to pick. That's probably the hardest part. And even then, they're all going to give, like, similar performance. It's all, you know, it is what it is. Like, it, it's it's hard to just choose one. That's one of the hardest things to do. But I'd say just be satisfied with what you decide. Because even me, I'm still having trouble being satisfied with my 5900X, even though it's one of the best CPUs on the market. It's, it's just, like uh 1100k oh i should have went intel it's always something but just get something look you're you're in the top like five percent like of of systems or i don't know i don't know that's that's a stupid metric but you 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 have one you have the best one of the top three cpus on the market like just be happy <laughs> if you have a 10 700k that's like top five you're good <laughs> like, you don't have to worry about anything just you know just be proud of that but um yeah the shuffle is there for your enjoyment but yeah that's it i think i've how long have we been going for almost damn near an hour that's not bad that's not bad I talked about a lot well i'm coming from a pc that's too old you won't even know the name <laughs> i hear that i hear that i hear that listen when i was i feel that i feel that when i was when i built my first pc i was on a laptop I mean, it wasn't crazy. It wasn't crazy old, but it had like a a sixth gen Intel processor, just like yours, and it had a 1050 Ti. So, and I was sitting there like, oh, I bought a 9700K, and the 10 series just came out, and I was mad. But like, I had a 9700K, which was like top three CPUs in the at the time. Like, you know what I mean? So it was, you know. I was sitting there doing the same thing, but I'm glad. I'm glad you'll be happy. I'm glad you. I'm glad you'll appreciate whichever thing you buy. Uh, what about a 3700X and a 3080? Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, like I said before, anything in the last two generations is cool. Preferably, I'd say last three really, but last two generations, you're you're cooling. You're cooling. What's up, Spark? Welcome to the stream, man. You you kind of joined in at the last bit because I'm about to I'm about to cap it off here. But welcome to the stream, man. But listen, I hope a lot of this information that I gave is helpful. I don't know how the VOD's going to come out on you stuttering and doing all types of mess. I still got to talk to my internet provider. I will be doing that. I will make sure the next stream is way better than this one um, <laughs> as far as like the internet goes. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something from the information that I gave. I hope I helped some of you guys out. And congratulations to everybody that came in the stream that uh, got something from the Best Buy drop or got something in the past couple of weeks, 3080, whatever you got. Congratulations to you. And in the future, if you plan on getting that uh, that 50, that 5600 X, uh, congratulations to you on that. And yeah, I'm going to cap it off right here. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys have, like I said, a wonderful evening, a wonderful day or evening, wherever you're, you're watching this stream right here or watching the VOD in the future. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.